Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that gets kids excited about math and science. We're working on one of our RC trucks today. This is the Techno SET 410.3 that we've turned effectively into a monster truck. It, it comes as a short course truck, usually meant for racing, but we put on these larger Proline Trencher 2.8 uh, inch wheels and tires. And we're doing some other stuff, or we've done some other stuff, um, like these higher body mounts. Um, we were uh, trying to fit different bodies, but um, just ended up sticking with the one that we got with the truck. Now, we, we bought this truck used. Uh, you, you can see all the previous videos uh, on this truck in the playlist in the description below. Uh, this, um, so, you know, basically we, we, uh, you, you can look at the previous videos, but we use these quarter inch clevis pins, um, to serve as body mounts. And, uh, this gives us enough, um, almost enough tire clearance. You know, we, we trimmed the body a little bit there. Um, and also we, we have the shock set on full height, but what we wanted to cover today was the... Uh, the body, the chassis brace that we have in the works here. Um, this, uh, we actually picked up these quarter inch uh, by 0.49 or 6.35 millimeters by 1.25 millimeters thick. Right, you can see the, the tube here. Um, this is, you know, you could find something probably similar at your, your hobby shop. Um, Essentially, how long is this? I don't even know how long it is, but it looked like the right size, so I picked it up, and it's almost long enough to span the the entire chassis. Uh, interesting thing about the uh, the shock towers for the SCT four ten point three is that they already have these holes, even with and you, I've I've put a screw there there already, but they've got these holes um, through the metal shock tower, right? And also, it goes through the plastic body mount. This might be for the, like the buggy body mount or whatnot. I'm I'm not too familiar with the buggy, but uh, basically the EB48 SL uh, uses a lot of the same components. So that might be used to to uh, mount uh, the body on the buggies. But anyways, we we put a three millimeter screw through there, and another one through the front. Same thing exists there, and then we put the rod in, and we we've we put some. Just uh, you know, some plastic pieces that we had lying around. Um, you know, these are various scraps, but uh, basically just to see um, you know what um, how much slack we would have to take up. And you know, it's 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 pretty small here, right? Um, yeah, I don't remember the exact length on these screws. I think they were. I could pop it out here um, and grab a caliper, but. Basically, we put a long, you know, the longest three millimeter screws we could find, and you could probably buy some that are longer. Uh, this is a twenty in the front, and I think it was like a twenty-five in the, um, sorry, twenty in the rear, and like a twenty-five in the front. But essentially, the largest um, three millimeter screws you could find, and um, you could just pop this in here. And um, these right now, these spacers are plastic, but. Um, you know, we, we can use some other scraps, like even, you know, the, um, the rod in here, you know, cut it to, to length, uh, and, you know, screw this in, right? And basically what this will do is it'll prevent the, the chassis from bending inward on impact, uh, because that can mess with all sorts of things like breaking the rear chassis brace or the front one. Um, you actually, you can even see here, there's some abnormal wear on the, um, the front of the, the center drive shaft, uh, where the aluminum has been worn away. It's kind of hard to see there, but, uh, if I got this battery out of the way, you could see it. Um, do that here. We're just test fitting a larger 3S battery. So yeah, you can see actually that this is worn away almost to like a taper and that's because it's been running into this chassis brace 
um, and just wearing away the uh, the aluminum. So to prevent like that stuff like that from happening, and also you know the 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 spur gear, motor alignment, all that sort of stuff is it can be messed up when the the chassis bend, bends inward, right? Kind of sandwiches like this on an impact. So this piece is basically uh, to handle that compression. Um, some folks, you know, a lot of folks run this on various different uh, trucks or, or vehicles, you know, like especially bashing hard, uh, like the, the, the Arma A scale series. A lot of people run these braces. Also the Proline Pro MT. Um, so you can buy these, you can make them yourselves. Uh, even our old Thunder Tiger um, uh, MT4 G3. A lot of folks made their own uh, and their their vendors that sell them too, or manufacturers that that make and sell them too. So, anyways, um, you know, some folks say you, you want to have some some flex in there, you know, just to let it compress a little bit. But um, I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> you know, I think the the more rigid it is, the better in this case. Um, you know, maybe to take a little bit of shock, but. Um, you know, like something like plastic or nylon, if you, if you, uh, take up the slack here with that, that should be fine. Um, you know, some people might be concerned that three millimeters is, is just too small, um, for the screw here. You can, you can bore this out to four millimeters if you want, but you might, um, you know, the plastic, uh, might be, uh, reaching its limit there. This tube will actually take, um, you know, like a four millimeter screw if you, if you tap it. Um, so you could do that as well. Just some ideas. Um, note that the, you know, the, the front suspension is kind of angled upwards, right? Uh, because it, it, um, you know, that's, that's to, to help with bump steer, you know, usually, um, the, uh, you know, the ax the, the front axle is kind of offset like this at an angle like this. Um, so, uh, that, that trans, that will translate into the front shock tower being kind of bent inward. Um, so whatever you make, you, you probably want to account for that as well. So if we were to use um, this old rod end uh, that we replaced in a previous episode, um, you know, we, we'd want to actually follow something like this angle here. We'd, we'd want to cut that plastic at not such a drastic angle, but an angle to match uh, the angle on that, uh, that front shock tower there. So let us know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next time.